Hey y'all, today we're going to break down a Pen 330, sorry, 320 GTI. So let's just start by taking the handle off. I'm going to remove this set screw here and then I'll just screw that nut. This wheel has already been cleaned, so all we're doing is breaking it down completely and uh, re-lubing and oiling it. Want to take this handle off? Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button as well, and be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Now we can back this knob off. Under there is a washer. And there's like a little sleeve here. I'm gonna do this right now while I'm here. There's a couple of uh, shims or pieces in there, plus that spring. <clears throat> so let's undo these screws. Let's see, one more screw, sorry. We can take this plate off while we're here. If I can balance that thing. This should just pop right off. So it sticks a little bit here, so I'm gonna pop that out a little bit. And all these screws here are the same size, and even the one on the non handle side or left side is the same size as well. Uh, where was I? I'm gonna pop this clip off so we can get that, that gear <coughs> off of there. Got to reach under this little ring that's there and kind of pry that up. You know, look for the the gap that's in it. If I can see it, it's right there. I'm just gonna kind of work that up one side, then work around and just kind of keep going as you can as you raise it up. Then you can kind of just pull it up with your fingers. Of course this is a piece you want to be careful with because it's pretty small. Then that gear just comes up and that's it for the spool. I want to break down the uh, this side here first and then we're going to do the uh, the gear side or the, the handle side afterwards. These are pretty loose. I like to keep them pretty loose so you can slide them back and forth to fit over the uh, the rod. I'm gonna put my finger back on the back here so that I can create some leverage to unscrew this. All 
right, so let's get to this side here. We're going to break down the, the level wine system and the clicker. And the way to get this off is <clears throat> you have to push up slightly, up and across, up and that way. Now we can undo this for the paw. So we can undo the rest of this and get the, uh, the worm gear out. We can undo the nut there. And you want to hold on to the gear down here when you're backing this up and when you're tightening it as well. You just push it straight down. That little plastic piece comes out. <coughs> that comes out. That comes out. You can also take this piece off here. Like that. Alright. So let's get to the uh, clicker and that idle gear on the bottom there. I'm going to remove that screw that's inside there to get the clicker off or the ring off. <clears throat> it just pops up. Now we can go ahead and take out the uh, this click tongue here, and this is a little tricky. You have to stick your uh, <coughs> your uh, screwdriver in there, small flathead. Just kind of twist it in there, and it should come off. That just drops out, and it's just those three pieces. Now we can take that gear out. and that bearing stays inside. Where'd my screw go? Okay, so let's get to the right side. So undo these screws, then this screw. I'm holding my hand up against the back of this so it doesn't drop when I unscrew this. I mean, it's going to drop at some point either way, but I don't want anything really flying out of there. Let me change the gears on this. Now we can kind of just take this uh, spring off of this dog there. Just kind of turn this over like so, and then just let it drop out.
take the jack plate off. Take those springs out. Then we can unscrew this. <clears throat> and that's how that looks. Alright, so the last thing we're gonna do is break this uh, these gears or the main gear down. screw sorry just pull it straight up there's a washer under the main gear that's looks like that these just come out that's the orientation of it like that to remove this sleeve Gonna pop out a, the pin that's in there. Sometimes you can push them out, sometimes you have to hammer them out. And this one's gonna be hammered out. And the only way I can do this on camera is to actually hold it like this and bang at it. So bear with me for a second. Trying to be real gentle with this so I don't deform the end of the uh, pin. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna come right back to you guys in a sec and show you how to put it all back together with the uh, greasing and the oil. All right, so we're back and we're gonna start with the right side first. Put all that back together. And then we'll work to the other parts. First, I'm gonna grease these drag washes up. Just putting a light coat on here. I'm going to add some oil to this bearing on the bottom here. And I do add quite a little bit of oil there. I'm just kind of try to work that in a little bit. And now I'm going to add some grease. And while I work on this, uh, this bridge, some of this grease is going to come off, of course, but Sometimes I have a habit of, if I don't do it now, I just kind of forget. And, and even though it's not imperative to add grease to these points here that I'm doing, I kind of like to add a layer of protection onto it. So. Make sure you got some grease inside that that little groove there. And then let's grease this up. Grease a little bit inside there. Not on the teeth it's themselves, but on the outside of them. 
like that. Then I do add some grease here as well. And I'm gonna wipe some of that off of my fingers. <clears throat> All right, where were we? Uh, <clears throat> we're doing the sleeve. All right, so put the sleeve on. Add a little bit of grease there so I can stick that pin in. And you kind of got to play with these sometimes to see which end goes in. Feels like it's working in, so let's use that. Now we're just going to squeeze this all the way down to where it fits really close to the. Uh, <coughs> To this hair, you want that kind of setting on the inside of it. You can test it out by seeing if this goes on over it or not. And if it's tight, then you want to just make some little bit of adjustments to it to push it in a little bit more. And that should be good. All right, so let's go nice and grease to the gear. a lot I kind of just want to coat this. You don't need to put a whole bunch of grease on there. All right, so now we can put our first washer on there. And then put our gear on, then stick our drag in. Alright, so first goes the carbon fiber washer, then a keyed washer, and just follow that sequence, aired washer, keyed, aired again, and then the last one is the keyed washer. And that's that for the main gear. <clears throat> now we can go to this section and do the eccentric. And even though there's grease on this piece already, I like to add a bit of grease to the point the spring here before I set it inside there. Uh, one thing you want <clears throat> you want to note about this uh, reel is this might be difficult for you to see on video, but there's a a little triangular indentation there. You want to get it up inside that triangular indentation, not below it. So you kind of got to work that in there. If it sets too low, then you add some undue pressure to the spring and you could damage it prematurely. 
All right, so now we have that set in place. We're gonna take this on the back side, balance this out like so. Then we'll flip it and then screw it in. And if it slips, then you just do it over again. Note I've put some grease inside that hole already. And just snug it down. Test it, make sure it works. Add a little bit of grease there. And I'm going to add some grease to this point as well. Alright, so now we can grease these pieces up so we can get this right side put together. The key for greasing is really just um, <clears throat> applying grease wherever there's movement or pieces that move uh, from on from one piece onto another or having some interaction with something. So if the pieces are moving essentially you kind of want to grease those things up. I'm greasing the dog itself as well but not the uh, not the end of it. And yeah, I did leave that spring on there. All right. Oh, I forgot the pinion. On this pinion, make sure you, you get inside that groove as well. inside here all right and stick this in like this add our springs to these two holes here <coughs> just like that. Now we can take our <coughs> our jack plate and just set that on like that. And I like to back this up just so it keeps it in place while I set it down. I'm going to move it again when I put the main gear in. I'm going to get one of these fully threaded screws ready. push it back up. Now we just kind of hold it sideways, push it through and rotate. When we get to about right there, maybe a little bit more over, we can add our threaded screw through the bottom and stick our dog inside. Dog is going to sit just like that. Now we can rotate, push that screw down a little bit so you can get it over it and then find the posts and the groove. There's one. And we're missing this piece, so I'm going to pop that out. And now we're set. <coughs> Screw this down just to keep it in place. Now we can put that spring over. Like that. And now we can screw the rest of these in. The <clears throat> not fully threaded screw goes in the top through where the springs uh, sit. And the threaded go on the bottom. Snug these down, but you don't want to over tighten these. And I'm alternating from in a diagonal kind of fashion. That feels good. 
<clears throat> All right, so let's go to the other side. And we're going to put our dock, I'm sorry, our clicker in. Get up. This really does not need it, but I am going to add some grease here. It does need grease at the top here where that E clip sits because salt can accumulate there. And I'm going to grease this as well on the inside and on the bottom. Now you may have to bear with me on this one because this can be a little bit uh, tricky. Uh, before I do, I'm going to oil this bearing on the bottom. I had a decent amount of slab of oil on that. Stick it through. <coughs> set like that and we're just going to take this e-clip and get it over hey. I'm going to get over the flat side of the um, of the click tongue like that and then just squeeze it in I just gotta be kinda careful with this one like that <coughs> now before I get any further I'm gonna put the, uh, the idler gear in and the way this sits is there's a indented, indented side or curved in side and a side that rise, it's raised up slightly that raised up side is going to go on the bottom or facing down. I'm going to add a, just a little bit of grease on this. That should be good. And let's add some grease on the inside here as well. Where that's going to run around this little post. And this add some wear on it. I don't I think it's pretty flat. Just putting some residual grease on it with my finger. Lay it on like that. And we just screw that in. Clicker has a little indented, indented side here that's going to be facing down. Make sure it sits over the posts. Then just kind of work it over the click tongue like that. I like to put the clicker down, then just screw it in. This one might be a little bit tricky. Flat head screw. All right. So now I'm going to do the uh, <coughs> the stand. I'm sorry, the seat, the, the rod clamp. Uh, before moving on to the level wind mechanism. I'm looking for something. I'm going to grease where that shoulder is, that squared end, because that's going to meet the metal. And you'll notice on this, there's a flat side, and the rest is curved. I don't really pay attention to that, because I like to keep it loose. Uh, but in theory, it's supposed to go one way over the other. Just drop it in. Then we're going to add some 
oil to these threads. Then screw this on. Let me stick our, <coughs> our clamp on there. Yeah, I want to make sure this is sitting a certain way, though. Yeah, I got to make sure it's sitting. That should be good. So let's get to the level one. I'm going to stick this post in first, just wiping some grease off on it. There's an indented side there, the indented side is going in first and fitting into this piece just like that. I'm going to add a little bit of grease to this. Since this is metal going onto plastic, you don't need really need the grease. But let's call it a habit. Oops, where is the sleeve? There's two different kinds of sleeves here. Uh, one is has uh, a notch on it. One is just round. Stick that one on there. Now we're going to stick this through like so. Then we're going to stick this over it. And what I want to show you here is there's a little notch in the bottom of that that, that needs to fit into. So work that in like that. Then when you get to here, kind of want to make sure those screws, those um, gears mesh up. <coughs> what did I miss? I missed my line guide. I was missing something. Stick that on like that. And then let's mash that up again. I can't see if I'm in. I am. And then just stick it through. And you're good with that. Now we can set this other side on. That also has a notch then, but it kind of just coincides with the uh, with, hold on, <coughs> with this piece at the bottom here fitting into those two slots or into that groove there. So I'm going to line that up first, then I'm going to press both sides, then just work this until we get it set in place. 
And you can definitely feel it when it happens, like there. And we're just going to screw this in. I'm going to get it started and then I'm going to hold that idle gear on the bottom while I'm holding that gear as well, the level one gear or the worm gear, excuse me. And then I'm going to screw it in. Then we're going to test this out by just kind of rotating this with our fingers. That's too tight. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm sorry, hold both gears again and back this up a little bit until we get it to a place that feels good for us. That definitely feels pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> So let's add some oil here. Sometimes I use grease on these things. Sometimes I use oil. I'm gonna use a little bit of grease on the uh, tip of the paw rather than oil. Drop it in. And you kinda wanna make sure you drop it in um, kind of in line, like straight up and down. <coughs> And I like to just work it with my fingers first to make sure I get it set and it feels like it's set there that I can put the cap over it. I'm going to add some oil into that cap there. Not a lot. Then just drop it in and screw it in place. As a matter of fact, hold on one second, I'm going to put some grease on these threads. make sure I'm still set this is kind of a balancing act so All right, good. And we're almost done. Let's get the spool and grease around here up. And this side as well. And we're gonna take our gear and just, there's a squared uh, side here that's going to fit on that squared shoulder there. Get our ring and we just put it over the top and then push down and then you kind of work it, work it down the rest of the way. Like so. And you heard it set in place. So we're good. Alright, and what else do we have to do? We can put this cover on. Before I do, I'm going to add some grease inside here. And while I'm doing that, I'll just do the other side as well. And to put this on, you just kind of go in reverse. Start it there, get that notch feeding inside that groove there, and then just popping it over. Make sure it's set.
Okay. I'm gonna stick this inside here since there's a little, it's kind of a tight fit. And then we'll stick it inside. This side like this. Let's make sure we're not forgetting anything. And then just find those grooves. And you wanna make sure obviously this sits inside the, uh, the bearing that's underneath there. And that feels Get the clicker off. Yep, that feels good. Okay, so now let's get this plate on. We're gonna do this in reverse, kind of just balance that. Stick it over. And this one's actually pretty simple to do. There's a lot of room under it. And then screw that in place. some grease inside this drop that down and then we're gonna put this on uh, before I get there let's put this tension control knob on I had some grease inside here I'm sorry, sorry some oil add our spring on top of the post for the spool then we're just gonna screw it on I'm screwed all the way down now, but then I'll back it up a little bit afterwards to play with this, the tension on the spool. Okay. So let's add some grease to right here onto this post or that sleeve and some grease inside here as well. Then we're just going to screw it down. Sometimes you get stuck on these things. Uh, and if I do in this one, I'll show you what I do. I didn't get stuck. Uh, but sometimes if I do get stuck, I'll just take my tweezers and I'll hold the post like this. If I, if I have no other access to the post, I'm just gonna hold it like this. Cause you don't need a lot of tension on this. And then you can just screw it down. Add some grease inside there where that's going to sit on top of the uh, top of the shaft or the sleeve, excuse me. Um, add some oil here, here, and I don't really add any in the bottom. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The most important one is going through the top because where you'll get most of your stickiness from will be on the 
inside of that knob. That feels good. All right, so let's just set this on and turn this drag knob down all the way. Am I backing it up? I think I am. And all you're doing is just going down so you have enough clearance for this to sit on and for you to lock it down with the uh, with the nut. Add some grease inside there. Then just screw it in. Make sure you line up your hole. Any more than that? No, nope, it doesn't. That looks close to being right. Can't always tell. That looks good. I'm going to add some grease to this hole as well and then just screw it in. that up and I'm gonna undo this tension up a little bit we're gonna test the reel out make sure it works tell it to just click her off that feels good let's see the free spool I'm tighten down a little bit all right anyhow uh, that's how you put together a uh, Pen 320 GTI. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you appreciated the video. Again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, if you like the content. Uh, also, the bell notification so you can get updated or notified whenever I put new videos out. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.